We're here at the Gordon Dam, and what we're going to do is demonstrate uh, from the very top the effect of spin on a ball. So we're going to get a basketball and drop it uh, from 140 meters up, uh, one without spin and one with spin, and see what happens. All right, you guys, good down the bottom. Thank you. We're watching. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, so it's crazy just just dropping it with no spin or anything like that. And as you could see, you know, that the ball was sort of doing a sway thing, so it wasn't going directly straight. It was pretty hard to predict where it was falling, so that was really cool. Get back in the water, do you? This is Brett who just threw it. I literally just dropped it with a bit of spin, like I didn't even throw it, and it just took off. Like we had no idea that was going to do that. But yes, in the water, please. So that was a pretty amazing experiment with some really interesting results. Um, so the the first one that we had no spin on, um, it dropped straight down uh, with some lateral movement, quite a lot of lateral movement, as you would have seen. Uh, but it didn't actually go forward at all, so it was almost, you know, fell directly below where it was dropped, which is what you would expect. Uh, but the one where we added the backspin, uh, it went perfectly straight, but it really took off as it gained speed, and it went, you know, close to 70 meters, I'd say, from from the point at which we threw it. So 70 meters horizontally. So that was incredible. And um, as you can imagine, when you're doing a trick shot, all it does is highlight. Uh, the complicated nature of the spin of the ball and how far it goes. Um, if you put slightly less spin, it's going to go uh, way shorter. If you add more, obviously it will go further. Um, if you throw it without spin, then it's just going to fall straight down. Very interesting. We learned a lot. We were, we were really impressed with the results and um, we hope you were too. Our good mate Derek from Veritasium has done a really cool video which explains why the ball went so far with the backspin. Watch the video and then check out and subscribe to his channel for heaps more great science videos.